Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Draw.io on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be installing today, draw.io. Uh, you can create diagrams and um, a, a lot like this. It's got powerful features. And then privacy first. So desktop, Git and Dropbox, Google Workplaces and Google Drive. Um, it just makes it to where you can create really nice diagrams, uh, easy, and then this save them to your computer. So that's what we'll be installing today. So now I'm going to be going over the draw.io uh, Docker and Pose that I made over in Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to Big Bear Video Assets. I'm going to go over to the search right here. I'm going to type draw. And then you'll see how to install Draw.io on Dockage right here. I'm going to click it. So now I'm going to go into Docker and Pose. So version 3 of Docker and Pose file formats being used. I'm going to set services. And the first service underneath service is called App. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Draw IO. Uh, this is a custom name, so you can identify and manage the Docker container instead of it creating a random name for you. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default. J JGraph Draw IO is the Docker image. Then the Docker image tag is right here. So restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then port mappings. So 8080 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container is 8080. Do not change this port. And then uh, this enables uh, the TTY. So it's used for debugging purposes. Um, and then this in, uh, this keeps the STDIN uh, open even if no attached client is present. So it's good for interactive applications. And containers may, may want to interact with directly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy raw file. Then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go to compose. And then stack name, I'm going to put draw uh, IO stack in. Then I'm going to go over here to the editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker and post that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And once we do that, it should be ready to uh, deploy. So I'm going to press the deploy button up here. And what this uh, done is it downloaded the Docker image off the registry, got it extracted, got it up with Docker and post underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So, we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the Dockage UI. So, on the home page, you'll get active, exited, and inactive. These are just statuses that give you a quick example of what your stacks are doing over here. I'm going to go in the stack. So, you'll see actions up here. You can go in and edit your stack. And you can edit the Docker Compose over here. Or you can edit in the UI over here. You can also add a service underneath the services like that. And then you can see it's added over here. You can also edit the uh, the, the service from the UI over here. And then that just added the image underneath the Nginx service right here. So we can just delete the service and it's gone now. You can add your rails. You can set environment variables. You can set networks, internal and external. You can also have actions up here. So you can deploy the changes, save the changes, stop and inactive and the discard changes so you can restart the stack right here update the current tags on the stack and then uh, stop 
stop an inactive, and then delete the stack. You can see the containers in the stack down here. So you can go into the UI by clicking the port right here. You can also go into the bash and you're inside the container actually. So now you can go to SH as well. You can go back to the stack. So now you can see the logs down here, great for debugging. You can see a read-only version of the Docker and Pose here. So that's a little bit about the Docker UI. So now I'm gonna go into the UI and see if it works. So um, when you're in your stack, you can go to this port right here and go to it. So now you can create a new diagram. You can open an existing diagram. You can change the storage. So if you create a new di a diagram, you can just name it. And then you have all these types of diagrams that you can create and AWS. And you can help uh, cancel from a template URL or create. And you can ch change the file type. I'm going to create. So this is really neat. You can move things around just like a diagram. And then um, you can ch ch change things. You can add something to it. Um, you can share. You, you have menus up here. Um, so that's a little bit about draw IO. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting draw.io working on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go down to the big bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.